Hey everybody, Philip and I are here and we are going to be talking about the Lantern Rite 2024 sequence. I was hoping Dvorak would be in there, but alas, he is not. We're really excited to watch this. We're gonna stop and start as we go. Philip is a filmmaker, has an amazing channel that's linked down below. Uh, Philip, why don't you Thank go you. ahead and do like your, your 10 second intro. Hey guys, uh, my name is Philip. I'm a filmmaker. You may have seen some of my popular documentary work uh, from China, where I lived at the Shaolin Temple and captured my experience there, or some of my action films or commercial work today. I'm really excited because we get to attack this from the music side and the visual side. That's so. right. Oh, that's so bright. I love Lantern Rite. It's so effervescent yeah, all the time. It's so fun and so lighthearted. The it's way that really it bounces good. is just so pleasant. It's just so bright and, and playful. And I think it's also funny that we start this sequence with like Chi Chi being like, okay, and she's so morose and sort of <laughs> <Yeah>. down on <laughs> herself. Absolutely. And there's a beautiful uh, complementary color harmony and the chromatic circle happening here with these great bright oranges and then the deep mm. relaxing hues of night uh like the contrast of the two characters who are you know like you said morose and then really bubbly and bright and it's just you know with a complimentary harmony like this it's just very soothing it's very cozy and inviting with those nice orange tones it feels like you know you think fireside lighting or going to an awesome festival like this it's so interesting that you mentioned that because i feel like the lantern right is so bright and so beautiful because of how mm. many like the lanterns are such a key element to it and they're so orange and so vibrant and so like in your face mm -hmm. especially compared to the night sky or the like the cityscape of Liyue. this the, the difference is so wonderful Ooh. Awesome. Ooh. I want to hear about the music there, Marco. Take well, that. <laughs> did you see how we have all that playful stuff, right? But then as Ganyu, yeah. first of all, loving these outfits, but as Ganyu is walking yeah. ahead of Shenhe, Shenhe, we hear a shift in the music, bah, bah, da, da, whatever. That's when mm -hmm. we get Shenhe kind of looking kind of solemn and we have a, 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 yeah. a instrument change there. I think it was a clarinet that lends itself to expressing that sadness. It's cool. Absolutely. And there we are again with that contrast in characters, right? We mm. had the other two paired up and now we get this. I love that they did the outfit switch here because it tells us this is a special event. Right. You know, this is something that's like formal, but it's also fun with the music. And I love that we're kind of instantly getting interesting character pairings. I always say this with Genshin, with a cast this big and interesting, give us scenes with these characters interacting, right? All these personalities are so different and interesting. Um, so I love when they do stuff like this. A couple seconds ago, it was cool too, because we saw uh, Paimon's face and I and I like how they, they don't hesitate to shy away from like really letting us see the character like expressions and stuff, which is really neat. Mm -hmm. Obviously that pulls personality and stuff. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Right, and like you right. said, to have you know, a character so playful and kind of like right in the face of the camera, like kind of like, you know, you got any games on your phone? Type <laughs> thing. And then to then to pull back to this like a little bit more serious interaction with Shen Ho, where it's like, oh, is, is she okay? What's going on? Is she may be feeling a little shy or this isn't her usual environment. Um, so just asking really cool questions while also showing it's a fun event, right? We're going right. to right. be having fun. Like right. Paimon's having a good time. Come here, allow me. Oh man, that's um, such a nice shot. I was just gonna say, I love how they took the time on that shot. We were talking about this in our last video collaboration we did, that take that time to let the shot breathe. Uh, there's something we call in the editing room, uh, the rhythm to the edit. So you don't wanna have too many shots that are fast, too many shots are slow. A lot of times you run into this problem with doing a music video because you always wanna cut on the music. It's very mm -hmm. tempting to always do that, but then it can become very predictable and kind of like boring for the viewer, even subconsciously. So it's a beautiful rhythm to the edit on this one. And they let the shot breathe. It had to be five or 10 seconds. That was a really long time to let us just take in. This is a beautiful set piece. Did you hear the Lantern Right theme that <clears throat> popped in? Ba -da, ba -da. That's Li the Li Yue theme. It popped up and that's the quintessential ah. like that we hear that every Lantern Right, that big swell into that Li Yue theme is so nice because as we had this still shot, we also had this thrust of that because I was wondering when it was going to pop in. Lantern Right's tune is so, so majestic. It's the last half of the Li Yue mm -hmm. uh, um, main theme and it's just such a beautiful piece. One of my favorite pieces actually from Genshin and I just love mm. how that popped in there for a second. Made me all excited. Huh? Oh. oh, what's going on? Did something happen? Oh. 
What should we do? Oh, should we get the mill with? Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> so I really like that. In the respite of that music cutting out, yeah. the lanterns cut with it. Thought that was really cool. And then uh, all of a sudden, there's a little bit of a story developing here. Like I said, I really like to treat these as short films, even though they're part of like a massive monumental project that's like years in the making. You still like look at these as mini stories. And I love that we're a minute in. We already had a lot of character moments, fun shots, really long set piece shot. And now it's like, there's a conflict. What happened? The lanterns went out at the lantern right. So yeah. I'm, I'm invested. A I'm little invested bit of suspense. And you get the drums mm -hmm. in there too. And that's going to obviously, it, it's interesting because the drums represent one thing probably, but, but mm -hmm. immediately when you hear drums, you're going to think like, oh, there's a conflict or, oh, there's some sort of stressor. It's, it's cool. And I felt it was like a lot more severe than the sound of the music we had heard before that, which was like kind of like woodwinds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The really strings and the, and the, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Seer of the Dragon, that's so cool. Yeah, and what a striking image to have. And I love that it seems to be part of the show here. And they kind of use that suspense in the game world to kind of showcase, oh, the characters got a little nervous, but oh, okay, it's part of the show. That was really fun. <laughs> and what a cool character reveal there, who we know is Gaming. Yeah, I really that's love great. this like traditional instrumentation too. And we're never afraid, uh, especially Genshin. Genshin's so good at never being afraid of like respecting uh, musical elements from the regions that it plays in, right? And so because we're in this Lunar New Year, which obviously Obviously, Lantern Right coincides with for the most part. It's it's just so cool mm -hmm. to, to see that in the game, actually. I never thought that I would. Wow. That's a fantastic. There's some amazing stuff going on there. Um, I love that the the music, as it starts to pick up, he kind of goes into his dance yeah. and starts, and it has this frenetic energy as he gets into it. And when he jumps and does this big split in the air, the camera pulls back and goes into a wide angle lens, and we open up the focal length. It's just like boom, powerful jump. Yeah, it's really really well done. And then there's a there's an energy to the movement. What I love about this is they're using his dance moves, his movement to motivate the camera movement. And it's not just like, yeah, we're sitting there capturing. It's like, man, I feel like I'm there with him. I'm dancing. And it's adding to the velocity of what he's doing and the kind of athleticism. And it's really, really cool. And this sort of like camera choreography, as we call it, is just super well done. <laughs> what a segment. I want to hear about that instrumentation. Yeah, the Arhu, right. it really feels oh, like yeah. we're telling the story of Ga Ming. It's sort of like the playful mm. nature of Ga Ming is really coming through. And, and and it's cool because we just had this big percussive moment with the drums and then to shift into the Arhu, which is a traditional Chinese instrument, and to feel the mm. sort of, you know, the the enthusiasm and the excitement on people. It's like, oh my God, yeah, that, that's, that's Ga Ming. Or, or like, this is an incredible moment. And so like, even mm. though it's very melodic, we do get this real sense of like joyful expression. And the Arhu is... It's sort of an interesting instrument because it always has a little bit of a sound quality that's almost a little somber. There's the way that it's. The, I agree. But mm -hmm. in this particular, it's such a beautifully expressive instrument. And I, I love that. Where just yeah. like we were with the movements, now when he's floating up and throwing the 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 dragon head up in the air and stuff, even though it's still jagged movement, we we really feel like the sense of grace with Arhu. It's yeah, just oh, so totally. cool. Yeah, absolutely. And that comes in that you know sort of like classic. Chinese imagery of the dragon. It's a very yeah. majestic and kind of flowing, flowing creature yeah. as opposed to the European kind of like scary and really, you know, yeah, yeah, the wyvern, like ugly, yeah. <laughs> yeah like these ugly, disgusting things like, oh man, this is a beautiful, beautiful image. And why I like the instrument too is it has this sort of like almost character to it every note. It's not just like a solid tone. There's mm -hmm. so much sort of richness to it. And that's the way he's moving too. There's a lot of vibration, a lot of moving. It's not rigid. What I also like is they use a technique that where they shift the axis of the camera as he was going each way, uh -huh. which is really cool. And when you shift the axis of the camera, some people call it a Dutch angle. Uh, you see it a lot in horror films to build tension. But what they're actually doing here is they're shifting the axis of the frame. So when his legs kind of outstretch into each 
corner, there's more room for him to kind of show off his form. And it's a very aesthetically pleasing image, kind of fill the frame. That's a really, really cool expertly point. Done. Yeah, and it's interesting too because the Arhu actually aids that sort of imagery as well because there's a lot of mm. long notes. And so it really, when he's stretching out his legs, yeah. you know, I didn't think about that until you said it, but that connection there between uh, mm. the it, it, the cinematic movement and the, the melodic movement is really cool. I, I didn't even put that together. Whoa. Oh, man, I love that. I got to hear about this instrument first, Marco. What do you? What was that? I don't actually know, but the, the shift there in like, obviously, Gami is pretty young, but there's this, there was yeah. almost a virility in that music. Like, watch me do my like martial arts and watch me kick yeah. and watch me like, watch me be front and center. There's, there's a real like hidden confidence in that music that pokes through. It's very, very yeah. cool. But also oh, these, man, these, so good. these shots are really neat too. Just like the way that he's kicking and then we see Cloud Retainer up top sort of looking at you get that nice big uh, landscape shot it's so well done and i want to talk about that too first of all when he does this first uh, he does a 540 crescent kick and mm. boom slams into that one lantern it times so well with the music and it's kind of da, da, run, run. when he yeah, kicks yeah. it so good what we've talked about earlier kind of rhythm to the edit in this case a satisfying cut and cutting on the action Right, mm. so the character and cutting and the music hits, it's just like, boom, so satisfying for your brain. We talked about earlier how he's kind of like vibrating in his movements and the, yeah. the Aru has character to it. This instrument, I don't know what it's called, either. someone tell us in the comments, it's like vibrating more and it's, it's almost like he can't contain his energy. His energy it goes higher yeah. and higher, higher and the notes are going up and it's going up as he's kicking and jumping higher into the sky. It's like, wow, man, what a beautifully rendered segment. And then what I love is there's this cut that's so, so, uh, so, so fast. But when we go and we see Cloud Retainer, we zoom out from this extremely zoomed in shot and then from a telephoto lens and we pull all the way out and get this awesome character reveal. It's probably my favorite one mm. so far. And what it does, it kind of has a double meaning or a double uh, use. We see Cloud Retainer sitting above everything else, you know, how appropriate, but also it's a perfect uh, show of scale. We get to see how big this is. We get to see where the lanterns are, where Gaming is, and uh, it's very well blocked where everybody is in the scene. I can, I can register it. It's not jarring to the viewer. And it's quite hard to do on a set piece this big. We're talking about like how many stories high, how many characters are all right. over. Well executed, Genshin. It doesn't oh, man, stop. The you know, the excitement there just drums, especially yes. as he's like flying up. And I love that we're directly behind him. So we're watching it. We're sort of in his POV, if you will. Yeah. But like just uh, the way that music just. Da, 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 da. That's my, that everyone always is always like, wow, this guy doesn't sing opera. He sounds like shit whenever I mimic the sound. <laughs> but seriously, as we go higher and higher and higher, we feel just that youthful energy that's so at it, like on display here with this like curious virility, if that makes sense. Like he's very yeah. curious and intrigued and -da 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 -da. it's it's great. Absolutely. And it just keeps getting higher. The notes are going up and up. Yeah. It's vibrating. It's almost like it can't be contained. His like an, a volcano. Yeah. 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 It's just going to erupt and he's literally moving higher on the space he's yeah. going on buildings yeah, he's yeah, flying yeah. up these things and there's a really cool shot where we're tracking behind him as he runs up these like flags it's very reminiscent of final fantasy 10 wedding scene where titus is sliding on these things and jumps over to the one side and oh like yeah, yeah, yeah 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 we feel like we're going with him and it's unpredictable and it's fun and it's just like ah so well done i think it's probably my favorite shot in the trailer so far <laughs> wow. Okay, so I mean, there's so much to talk about. There's a shot where he jumps on the roof. Uh, after we see the drummers, we do a this awesome kind of dolly shot across the drummers, which is really cool. Then we come up, mm -hmm. there's this incredible moment where he does this kind of like rotating martial stance and like a horse stance and then lands. And it's just so nicely done. We kind of move in with the camera so it's just this satisfying crunch as he stomps down and he's like preparing to lift off and then 
boom, he explodes up into the air. Unbelievable shot. And then it's right only at 221, we have this, you know, kind of break. It's, it's like, it's, it can't go any higher. It releases, yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, yeah. we get that respite and it's just the camera pulls all the way back and everybody's applauding. It's so good. And then what I liked about the next part, Marco, is it's almost like he's out of breath and he's like, <laughs> he's looking around and he says, he kind of has this moment where he's like, oh, this is, this is beautiful. Yeah, he was like so caught up in the, in the energy of, of the dance. It's interesting how music does yeah. that. And I think it's interesting how we really, in this particular piece, we ramp up and up and up and up and up and up and up. It's funny because it doesn't, it doesn't feel like introductory music, but actually this entire sequence was just introducing us to Ga Ming in person. And this ramp up that we have here to then this, we have to release at some point. We have to release, we have to release, we have to yeah. release, we have to release. And then we release. And then what's really nice that I didn't, it was very unexpected actually, was there was a big shift. And that was when we finally saw Gaming in his youth and as a child almost, right? And totally. then that's when we have yeah. this beautiful string come in and it's sort of, as he looks out at the audience, maybe this is the first time he's performed. Maybe this is, maybe he's always wanted the, to be a part of Lantern Rite. Maybe he's always mm -hmm. wanted to make his parents proud or something. So there's this moment of like... That breath is our breath and it's also his breath. And it's really nice because breath is such a pivotal part to music making, especially with singing, that mm -hmm. having that breath allows us to be a part of, of, of his energy as well. It's really cool. Oh, that must be his dad and sister. Oh, that's so nice. Have I taken that many pictures already? I really like how we see character. You know, we've seen crazy action. We've seen kind of like, uh, you know, his personality through action. And then like you said, that that's probably a family member. Right. We get this moment of like the most personal, ah, he's just a kid, you know, uh, performing in a really probably stressful environment. And he gets that little validation, which I thought was really nice. And then uh, we do this kind of, it's kind of like we're pulling back different layers of mm -hmm. character uh, mm -hmm. uh introduction so we saw cloud retainer really high up and then we pull back again and there's this really cool transition i want to look at it again where it looks like we were looking through a camera lens and i love how we're kind of in a, an appreciative mode now the yeah. music feels like that too yeah and then there's a cool shot where it's like oh it's just a wide shot no no it's a character fps as we're looking around right. it's really <laughs> right i like that looking through yeah. charlotte's camera lens and then it's interesting yeah. how she's focusing in on coaching and, the, and there's this really deep relationship between the two of them where it's like oh i took this many pictures already like it's very playful <laughs> and very sweet and, and and again i think like i think probably the rest of this whole thing there may be another shift but i think in general mm -hmm. here we're going to have that that interpersonal connection with our characters now now we're going to be celebrating our our favorite characters have i taken that many pictures already uh, I need to load more film. Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately yeah. what we're talking about here is the gentility and the love that friendship can bring. I think this particular cast has a real love for it. Uh, and I also mm -hmm. think that it's also the love that the players have towards these characters and their relationships. And I think that music represents all sorts of things that comes across in this very beautifully subtle, uh, it's almost romantic sound quality that's existing there. It's very loving. It's very tender. And I think they're really smart to do celebrations like this in a game that is marked so many years in the making now um and it's not just like you know uh added gameplay content there's new cutscene content so you feel like you very much have lived with these characters for a long time uh we've all been through a lot since 2020 when this game came out right as time goes on you think back oh what was i doing the last lantern right ah oh, that's right and i'm still here and shen he is still here and i'm right. i'm still out there you know as a traveler in it yeah, and it's really beautiful, and I like how the shots have kind of morphed down, it slowed down a little bit, and I love how even though the characters are like very far away, we had uh, coaching up in like some tower, but we used a kite to do this beautiful transition across the screen, which cut directly to these guys, uh, and they used a mask around the kite uh, to transition between each one, as we call it in editing, and then it feels like the characters are all together, even though they're spread out across this huge city. So I thought that was really smart. They're, like you said, this feeling of interconnectedness and kind of just this celebration of being together. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, and again, Ooh. but this music represents like possibility now. Again, now we're thrust back into gaming and that yeah. possibility and hope and idealism and, and joy and, and just the beauty of the night, you know? Yeah, man, those, I was going to ask you, like those sort of chimes, or I don't know if it was tuned percussion or chimes, like kind of as he looks up into the sky, it's like, wow, what a whimsical mm -hmm. feeling. Wait, the wind. That music oh. is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and the wind, Cloud Retainer gets the lanterns going again. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was that was gorgeous. I don't know what instrument that was either. Also, really nice. I, there was, I think, there's a choir actually there that's singing in unison. Ah, 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 ah. But I love how we get the shot of Cloud Retainer sort of like thrusting it all, gathering all the wind, and then whoosh, I have actually have a little bit of goosebumps thrusting that that image of the crane through the sky as mm -hmm. we get this. We because I was wondering when is the theme of Leeway that Lantern Right theme that always shows up at these, mm -hmm. and here we are, and it's so beautiful because this this one in particular has been very interpersonal not big yeah. in a lot of ways very intimate that's showcased by the ah, very very personal absolutely yeah and i love how he just had himself uh we just had the shot of him looking up to the sky and there's these kind of chimes and you know it feels like almost like a fairy tale and then the shot of cloud retainer doing that it's almost like a, a shooting star mm. going across the sky this beautiful green light and we get that pulled back shot and it's like ah oh. you know it seems like something out of fairy tale and it, it kind of is it's like oh this sort of, you know, godly figure has just revived the wind and made it so the festival can go on and everything. And it's just a great resolution. Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> Happy Lantern Right. Oh man, that was awesome. Oh. And we got to see Jong Lee. Himself, yeah. <laughs> the legend. Again, the interconnectedness of making everybody feel like they're in the same room, but they're like completely across the this entire ends, city. Yeah. It's very well done. But I like how now we've kind of centered on Gaming as the kind of central perspective yeah. from him looking up. And then it's like, okay, we're connected to him because everybody else is looking up to you at the night sky. Right. And that's kind of, I think, the beauty of this. And I think that's probably the message of this, right? Is we're all looking up at the lanterns and kind of together, even though we're in different places. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And no, it's a new start. <laughs> note man yeah well it's interesting Ooh. so when we have the the tremolo almost the, that that trembling sound quality it really feels like gaming uh, there's some sort of dynamic here where he wasn't sure if he was approved of if what he did was right or if he was going to get scolded and so there was a little bit of hesitation there both obviously in the exchange between the father size goes <sighs> You know, and then Gaming looks at him and he's like, oh, you know, and then we get that. And then the piano is like, oh, it's OK. We're all yeah. family, you know. Yeah. Kind of like uh, resolving feeling to the piano note. It's like, oh, God. But so then nice. but then this pull up shot is just incredible when you see all the kites in the air and stuff. My goodness. Yeah, It looks like kind of was like a crane shot as we come up and it has always oh, just because we're conditioned by, you know, the cinema that we've seen, it has a very resolving feeling. This is probably the end to a film, <laughs> you know, how we're doing this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's probably going to cut to credits or something. And it, it, it's beautifully done. You know, it's interesting. I don't know that it's my favorite Lantern Right because I think like musically mm. the, the first one was the, you know, and then obviously I was in the, the third one. So I mean, like, you know, yeah, come uh, on, come on. <laughs> can't beat that one. But, but um, I, you know, I sort of missed the bombast of that. Ba -da 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 -ya -da, right. But at the same time, there is something in this that's really special is the intimacy that we haven't actually been able to see per se in other, in other mm. Lantern Rites, you know? I mean, it was exceptionally well done. From just a shot selection standpoint, uh, like I mentioned before, the rhythm, the edit, the variety, um, the color use. Genshin is always amazing with its color use because it's just a yeah. bright format, uh, visual style that they have. Yeah, um, and they always choose really well. You know, especially like special events like this. But uh, yeah, it was really well done, and I think we had a good variety of character, with a good variety of action with the dancing section, and then you know, kind of these connectedness shots. But I mean, every lantern right kind of has its own feeling, which is cool. Well, I mean, thanks a ton. This was super fun, Philip. This was really fun, man. 
we yeah, had a good we time. We picked apart every possible, every little microcosm. <laughs> yeah. If you want us so to do more, yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you want us to do more of these or go and back and revisit some other videos with both our perspectives combined, please let us know in the comments. Go check out Philip's channel. Go check out my channel. And as always, yeah, thanks a ton, right? Yeah, we appreciate you all. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. We'll see you all later. <laughs>